Hey, what's up guys? Mike here. I wanted to put my little screwdriver technique to the test and see if it actually works. Um, so, I already did some. Uh, I know that it works, but uh, I'm going to show you why it works. And uh, this is what I've sorted out so far. And as you can see, there is nothing in there that looks like an inductor. It's just clean MLCCs. Um, so, alright, how are we going to do this? Alright, I'm going to use a racer blade here and then my screwdriver and what I'm gonna do is sort out a few from trash I don't know how trash got in here but I took these off when I first started scrapping so that's probably why I was a little messy so you know I was careful to uh, make sure that I sorted out the trash so there's a lot of like plastic and uh, I don't even know what that is I guess like board fragments and stuff. Uh, what is that? I will throw that in there. So I've been doing this for like the past hour, so it's really tedious. Um, in case you know, for example, if you chisel everything off the board and you're trying to sort everything that's been pulled off that board I mean it's pretty hard pretty hard to do um, I mean I don't know there's a better way than what I'm doing oh here's a inductor see so just let it stick to there and then I throw it in there I know that's not an MLCC either so throw that away there's another inductor there. There's another one. There's another one. Another one. That's one. It's just a little heavy. See? It picks it. There it is. Got it. Another one. Uh, I know that's not an MLCC, so I'm throw that out into the bat pile. Uh, so these all look like MLCCs to me. What do you guys think? Alright, so we'll put those on, on the good side. On the sorted side. Alright, so we just keep going. Just sort it out from the trash. Here's a tantalum. Okay, keep sorting. Like I said, this is very time consuming, so I would suggest doing it right the first time, guys. If not, you're going to be sorting out your stuff. Unless you don't care and you just throw everything together. But I kind of wanted to sort out my MLCCs and just have um a jar full of of just you know clean MLCCs nothing contaminating them so here here's two there I guess the screwdriver could only pick one at a time there's another there's another another one a little one there Nothing else. See a little bit of trash right there. And I usually go past it twice just to make sure. Alright, it's good. Alright, some more here. I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video. I didn't want to make it too long, so. Probably just a few minutes, so you guys can uh, 
see my sorting technique that I just invented. I don't know, maybe it's already out there, I'm not sure. So, just like that. Throw everything. Make sure it doesn't land in the good pile. Oh man, see how much trash and stuff there's in here? That's why it's good to do it right the first time. You don't have to sort all this crap out. And then once you got it all sorted out, make sure you put it somewhere where that you know you don't get any other stuff in there that you don't want. Okay, okay. We're getting there, guys. See, I don't just say any. This is an inductor here. One of those white ones. So I'm not even. I'm put that in the bad pile. In the I don't want pile, should I say? I have two piles here. One, a good pile, the bad pile, and then the two sorting one. Of, uh, trays, the two sorting trays, one for the inductors and one for just straight MLCCs. Uh, all right, isn't this fun? I had music playing, but um, I had to turn it off to make the video. I don't want to get copyright infringement. Um, it's alright. I'll enjoy the sounds to the sprinklers next door. Alright, so here's her second stash. Her pile. There's the first victim. Second victim, third. Oh, do we get it? Fourth, fifth, sixth victim. Oh, here, seventh. Yep. Any more? Make a pin or something. Uh, that one looks like a victim there. You can also tell by the coloration. Um, some are, most of the inductors are gray. That looks like a clear or a white one. So I'm gonna throw that away. All right, a little bit of trash. Damn it! I just threw it back in here. Uh, not sticking. Just make sure nothing sticking. This one there kind of looks like one, but it's not sticking, so it's good. All right. It's a good pile to go. That's the. Last of the pile I have left there, and then I'll be done. And I'll have my uh, MLCCs all cleaned. Doesn't that look pretty? So that'll just be all straight clean MLCCs. And then here we'll have the inductors and whatever else sticks to the magnetic um, screwdriver there that looks like a, I guess an inductor I'll throw in here and then we have our our trash pile here that's everything we don't want in here so I'm just sorting it out throwing all the trash and whatever else in here that's not a MLCC or an inductor 
So yeah guys, so I just wanted to show you what I was doing tonight. Um, I wanted to sort all these out so that way I don't have to worry about it later. I have them all sorted out and I don't have to worry about it anymore. I, you know, just focus on removing only the C's off the board of the capacitors. And then after that I'll remove the inductors. So yeah guys, uh, make sure you take off the right stuff or you're going to be sorting out your stuff and it's just a pain. Alright guys, so I finished sorting out all my MLCCs here. As you can see it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and brown. There's no dark gray in there. Nothing, none of this, nothing in here stuck to the magnet either. So we just have a little bit there. And then here's all the inductors I took out. So it worked out for me, guys. So try it out and uh, let me know if uh, it works out for you. Um, although it did take a little bit of time, but I just wanted to see if I could get all the inductors out of my MLCCs, and it sure did work. So, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.